are you making of this formation, Jim Beglin? Well, this system, Peter, allows for a really expansive passing game. If your centre-backs can play, then you see lots of diagonal switches to the wing-backs, and it all makes for a stylish, attractive bundle. However, its biggest weakness are those gaps between centre-backs and wing-backs, and with quick enough movement from the opposition, that can cause lots of trouble. So it's away we go then. Zinchenko. He's there to clear it. Done very well to intervene. Zinchenko. Big chance! Robertson. Cooper. Hoists it forward. Stepanenko. Ukraine have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Battles to win it back. That is terrific skill. Good has a pop. Well, that wasn't too dissimilar to the previous attempt. They're just lacking a cutting edge, Peter. And while that's fairly obvious, the rest of their attacking play is actually quite good. Scotland going about it patiently, perhaps too patiently. Forward it goes. Oh, good ball. Decent looking ball. Has a pop! Goal, Ukraine! And it's Ukraine who take the lead. And how about the timing of the pass and run? They've worked it before and no doubt they'll work it again. So we have our breakthrough. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. McTominay. It is quite a run he's making here. Who's ball? Who's going to get that? Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. He's got the ball, he's got the space! Stepanenko tries to get it forward quickly. Well played, he saw that coming. McTominay. McTominay plays it forward. Gets it back, and it's played forward. Sinchenko. Stepanenko. And the shot! 
lingered over it, and the chance to counter had gone. Look, if they're going to counter, it has to be pacier and much more decisive. Hoists it forward. Cuts it out. Cooper gets rid without sophistication. And it's played forward. McTominay. Scotland are trailing here with the first half almost done. And the finish! That has certainly tested the keeper. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Balls out on the left now. Yeah, he's offering an apology for that. He needed to deliver a better ball. And it's got through. It's a brilliant interception. And there's the end of the first half. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. And the action is back on the way. Scotland don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in the second half. They can't hold back, though. Stepanenko, and back to base. Throw it. Looks to thread it through. And the ball is out of play. Forward it goes. With Tomine. Robertson. It's got through to him. And he's dealt with that well. Has a goal! Away from immediate danger. Deflected over the goal line for a corner. Has a hit! Goal! They are right back in business. Now, deflection may or may not have made a difference. Little matter, it is his. When the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that fight. That's how you make an impact as a soap. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. It's pulsating, it's absorbing, and it's hugely entertaining. Every single player is giving everything. Tries to get it forward quickly. Plays it out to the wing. Caught offside that time.
Stepanenko. That quick leveller can now open this second half to this game possibly being turned on its head. Fresh impetus and encouragement is all they needed, and they've got it in abundance now. Simchenko plays it forward. And that's been levered clear. Zinchenko. And it's hoisted clear. And they've been caught out here. Beautifully done. This could spell danger. And the shot! And the follow-up. Goal! Ukraine! Into the lead once more. That's no fluke, it's what he was there for. Oh, Peter, you can't teach that. You either have it or you don't. His anticipation is on another level to everyone else's. Superb. Ukraine take the lead. McTominay. Zinchenko. Looking to break out here. Robertson has brushed off the ball there. Zinchenko. Scotland really aren't helping themselves. They're not seeing enough of the ball. Crosses it up for the header. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. Zinchenko. He hits it! And that would have been game set and match. Oh, and a real chance to pile on the pressure, and he'll be desperate to get another. Stepanenko. Sinchenko. And it's played forward. Cooper does well there, alert. Could be thinking about a shot here. Scotland are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. McTominay. And the lead stays intact, just. I think he rushed that. He had a bit more time than he realised. He could so easily have equalised there. Zinchenko. There will be a throw-in. There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Yarmolenko. Zinchenko drives it towards the front. He's made sure that that won't get through. And that is that. Scotland probably deserved a share of this, but of course you don't always get what you deserve. 
and they're going to have to swallow a defeat. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Scotland just may have felt.